a measure that many, many compensation systems are starting to track. And I note here that many of your work covers do this as well, is a measure of employer satisfaction and a measure of injured worker satisfaction. And I think it's important to note that not only in Work Cover Victoria, but in Ontario and in British Columbia, both uh, the measure of employer satisfaction and the measure of injured worker satisfaction over about a six-year period has gone up. And that's uh, certainly in my country, this is indicative, I think, of a heightened emphasis in these two systems on their service delivery standards, on their efforts to be high-quality providers, even though they're monopolies. Right? to be high-quality providers, uh, and this particular metric is watched quite, quite closely in both British Columbia and in Ontario. So a bit of a summary um, of the state of things in terms of financial and service performance. In terms of funding, a very strong funding ratio in British Columbia. Historically, uh, it has been a workers' compensation authority that has performed very well in terms of its funding ratio. Uh, in Ontario, there is progress in reducing the unfunded liability. The current schedule is to, it may well be gone by 2014. Uh, but it's, it, it thoroughly depends on what the business cycle does. And of course, like your workers' compensation agencies, it also depends on what the investment markets do. Uh, in terms of benefit costs, uh, stable benefit cost per claimant in British Columbia and a rising cost per claimant in Ontario, uh, which is causing great concern in the Ontario system. And I'll, in a couple more slides, give some examples of how the Ontario system is beginning to respond to that. In terms of service, uh, both systems document strong improvement in employer satisfaction with service, moderate improvements in injured worker satisfaction. And in terms of innovations in healthcare services, you may recall in an earlier slide I suggested that about 30% of all benefit expenditures are in the area of healthcare. Um, this is an area where I find uh, the provincial workers, workers' compensation agencies to be quite innovative. Um, a number of things that are underway uh, or have been introduced in the last little while. In British Columbia, there are a number of initiatives to expedite care. That particular language refers to, you may have the same challenge, Reser, re, refers to the problem that the compensation agencies have in purchasing care that is delivered in a timely way in, within a publicly funded healthcare system that has a number of areas of clinical practice that are choking with long queues. So you may or may not have this problem. But certainly uh, orthopedic surgical services, for example, in my country are areas with quite long queues. So that, for example, an injured worker who needs, would benefit from a surgical assessment might wait six or ten weeks to get the assessment. That individual is likely not going to be returning to work until that assessment is done. And so as a strategy to try to abbreviate some of the duration of disability that's associated with long queues in the publicly funded waiting uh, healthcare system. Uh, British Columbia has taken a number of initiatives to try to expedite some aspects of care. Uh, in Ontario, the provincial agency has funded uh, specialty clinics, which is, I think, a very good idea. So these are um, uh, clinics in the area of, for example, hand and wrist surgery. There's a post-traumatic stress disorder clinic. Uh, there's a shoulder surgery clinic where very high-quality surgical services are guaranteed to be available to injured workers. Uh, a lot of emphasis on the part of both payers on um, setting payment standards to align with evidence-based standards of care. And, <clears throat> excuse me, finally, in both British Columbia and Ontario, a little late perhaps relative to some of your experience, we're seeing the uh, evolution of a commitment to case management services on the part of the disability insurance benefit provider to engage in the coordination of health care. This is something that both British Columbia and Ontario are just dipping their toe into. Um, but I, bet, I suspect on the basis of your experience in many Australian states that they're going to find it to be a successful strategy. <laughs>